morning. It's all about being in downtown Burlington this morning and all the good eats we can get down here and some treats a little bit later on. Check out this beautiful spread we have here from Rehun, which is a Persian eatery. And I'm here with Mohammed. Mohammed, this is your lovely place. Yes, it is. In Village Square in Burlington. Yeah, yep. we're kind of a hidden gem in the center of Village Square, mm -hmm. uh, right, in the, right in the little courtyard. Okay, now yeah. this looks fun. This looks like a, you know, you get the family together, the community, mm -hmm. and you eat. So explain the flavor profile behind Persian food. Yeah, so Persian food, as you can see, there's a lot of variety. The important thing to note is there's something for everyone. So um, our ingredients, like we have a variety of kebabs here, a variety of stews, and a couple of specialty entrees. Mm -hmm. um, the flavor profiles are s ingredients that you're familiar with, but maybe not the combination of them. Okay. We use a lot of nuts, a lot of healthy ingredients, uh, saffron, um, we have berries uh, in our rice over here, pomegranates, walnuts, um, and as Again, you can see, it's... Yeah, yeah. A very, it seems like a very healthy approach when you look mm -hmm. at a lot of it, right? Mm -hmm. So what would be some of the main spices that you would use? Um, a, a lot of the spices that we use, turmeric, um, curry powder... Uh, again, saffron, sumac mm. over there, it goes well with the kebabs, oh, um, okay. and a lot of herbs, as you can see. There are a lot of greenery, a lot of uh, parsley, cilantro, basil. Mm -hmm. Rehu means basil, by the way. So Okay, right. All right. Yeah. So um, I'm going to come over to this side here, mm -hmm. and uh, this looks really fun. So you've got this really kind of fantastic bread and lots of dipping going on. Yes. So that's a Persian flatbread called barberry bread, mm -hmm. and a lot of our appetizers are dip-based. So um, we have our yogurts, and then in the center there is a pomegranate, walnut, and green olive uh, oh, mixture. Oh, oh, no, this one oh, right this over one here. here. Okay. Yeah. And that's an eggplant dip with a little bit of yogurt, sauce, caramelized onions, and mint-infused oil. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Now, we'll, let's shift over to dessert, because yeah. that's where I sometimes like to start, but we'll finish with dessert. <laughs> and a little bit different concept there, too. Yeah, so we use a lot of uh, rose water in our desserts, uh, oh. as well as uh, cardamom, again, nuts as well. We have over here the roulette, which is a fresh cream pastry with uh, rose water cream. Mm -hmm. um, over here is our Persian style baklava. Uh, as you can see, it's very nut heavy in the yes, center. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then our Akbar Mashti ice cream, which is a saffron and rose water ice cream, which is to die for. Beautiful. Well, I've heard people come from afar to yes. come to Rehun yeah, here in Burlington. We're, we're a destination restaurant. Love we it. get people from the U.S. We get people from... Uh, <clears throat> out west in Canada, so um, yeah. we're, we're the only Persian restaurant in the area, and mm. we're proud to represent it well. Love it, and it's here in downtown Burlington in Village Square and belly dancers as well yes. sometimes. Every third Friday of the month, we have a buffet and belly dancing event. Fun! Thank yeah. you so much. So it's really, really fun, Mohammed. We're going to come back here with more of some really great eats in downtown Burlington. Good morning. Okay, I know you're thinking, Leslie's so lucky she's eating ice cream again for breakfast, but guess what? This is not ice cream. This is actually raw cookie dough. So I am here with the Bent Spoon. We're here with Murray and Jen, and you actually sell raw cookie dough, but it's safe for everybody because we always hear these rules about not eating raw cookie dough. So tell me, how is this safe, Murray? So that is correct. Um, we, uh, we started the Bent Scoop uh, a little while ago. <laughs> it is Canada's first safe to eat edible raw cookie dough. Now, a lot of people think that it's the eggs. It's right. not the eggs, it's the flour. I don't know if you've seen all the recalls as of late, mm -hmm. uh, but what we've done is we've created a safe to eat flour. We cook it to 165 degrees at 12% moisture. There's a lot of science that goes into this okay. so that we can offer this in our store at, located at 440 John Street, downtown Burlington. Yeah, no one would ever think it's the flour. As you said, the, the initial shock for everybody is always, oh, I know it's the raw egg, but it's not. So you have made it safe. And this really does look like ice cream in a cup. So talk about the density for me. So this is in, in, in the consistency. Okay, so we essentially make this three different ways. Uh, we have it at room temperature. Many people like that for the frosting-like consistency. Mm -hmm, think mm -hmm. icing. Uh, but some people just can't, can't get around the fact that it's served at room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is we also put it in the fridge. Okay. Uh, for those that want it just a little bit more dense and a little colder, uh, we've also partnered with London Ice Cream and we became uh, Canada's first edible raw cookie dough ice cream sandwich bar as well. So we take our dough, mm -hmm. form it into discs, right. and we take uh, delicious London Ice Cream and we put it in, we sandwich it in between and we sell these uh, out of our restaurant as well. Amazing. We have approximately 108 flavors right now. Now in our, in our location, you'll see 36 at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a line of vegan gluten-free as well too because that's become extremely popular for sure, us. Sure, there'd be a request for that, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Can't yeah. leave those people. It's not fair. <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we're doing is we're actually closing down our store today for one week. And we're completely revamping it because we're very excited about this. We're going to start selling our Edible Raw Cookie Dough online. So it'll be coming in boxes coming like this. Coming in packages like this. That's correct. So we're going to start with all across Ontario. We're going to start with three packages, uh -huh. a classic, a signature, and a vegan gluten-free. And once that's done, we're going to start on three other packages, celebratory packages, a birthday package, awesome. a wedding engagement package, and my favorite, we call it the emergency pregnancy kit. Six Very of the good. top flavors that women crave while pregnant. I love it. So you guys are here in downtown Burlington. That's what it's all about this morning, featuring all the little great spots here in this community. It's the Bent Scoop, and I'm going to pick this flavor. What's this one? Peanut butter cluster. Oh, I picked a good one. All right, I'm going to check. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at, yeah, you, you think it's ice cream. I'm going to try it. Here we go. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, this is good. We have more to show you. We'll be back here in just a little bit. That's good. Good morning. It's all about everything yummy in downtown Burlington this morning, and you can't get much yummier than this. I'm here with Ashley and Charlotte from the Sunshine Donut Company. If you're in the downtown core of Burlington, you kind of go a little bit west of Brant. You see this giant donut <laughs> in the sky, and that's your place. Yes. So we're the Sunshine Donut Company. We're located at 439 Brock Avenue, mm -hmm. right downtown Burlington, one block off of Lakeshore. Mm -hmm. It's the same owners as Son of a Peach Pizzeria, so Kim and Bart Nadherney, and they have a love for everything everything dough. Everything we <laughs> everything do. Dough. <laughs> yes, and everything we do is from scratch, handmade every day. Mm. We're really concentrated on locally sourced seasonal ingredients also. And obviously very, very tiny little donuts that oh, barely yeah. fill exactly. you. <laughs> Look at these. These are unbelievable. I need to go down to this one first here. Keith, come down and shoot that. That's a peach fritter, is it not? Yes, it is. So and seasonal we, again. Yes, seasonal. We actually go to the farmer's market <laughs> at Burlington Mall and we actually hand select our peaches from local farmers. Just make it into a donut. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, uh, this, this one on top here. That one is the Chunky Monkey. Mm -hmm. So it has a house-made banana marshmallow that we brulee. And what? then it has a chocolate ganache that's dipped in peanuts, again with house-made salted caramel sauce. All right, so I have the two of you here. <laughs> and you're going to make some donuts as well. I mean, people, kids must just walk in the store. Their, their jaws must just drop. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so tell me which one you're going to make. So I'm going to do our original sprinkles. So it's exactly like our giant donut mounted on the roof. Uh -huh. So it's pretty much our iconic donut. OK, all right, so, so you go ahead with that one. And what are you making, Charlotte? I'm doing the black currant. Okay. So a seasonal, it's a little bit tart. Oh. How wonderful. This is a really great thing on a Saturday morning. You get up, you go grab your coffee and grab one of these donuts. Yeah. Go sit down by the lake here in Burlington, Spencer Smith Park, and indulge. You have to do this stuff in life, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. And definitely an early morning spot. Mm -hmm. We do get quite busy on the weekend, so to get the best selection, it's best to come early in the morning. And that makes sense to me. When, you know, when you're, you're having baked goods, you get up early, and, and what a great adventure for families, you know, to, to get up and go and... Really? Look Something at, fun, this too. Tradition. Like, this is so much fun. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. No problem. And and really, there's something for everybody here, right? And there's and there's many more flavors, I'm sure. Oh, yes. We run about 12 flavors daily. Love it. And it's <laughs> seasonal, so we have to just come coming back in the fall and the winter. Oh, All right. Yeah. That's it for now. We'll be back with more here in Burlington. All right, good morning. We're at a really cool spot here in downtown Burlington on John Street called The Block Co. And it's pretty awesome. We have all kinds of cheeses and charcuteries and fun stuff. We're going to come around and meet these two guys. We have Troy and Josh. Hi. And uh, this is sort of your little brainchild. Tell me about this place. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a unique cheese shop mm -hmm. uh, where we, uh, we focus on uh, a unique cheese and charcuterie. Uh, one of the fun things we do is you can bring in a board that you have at home, uh, drop it off to us, and uh, we'll we dress that. it up. Yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. Really cool. And I'm, I'm amazed because you have, if, if you pan up, Keith, and look at some of the boards on the wall that we were looking at earlier, you can have boards that big. Can someone bring in a board that big and uh, you guys will fill it? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> That's the fun one. Oh, I bet. You guys yeah, love that, yeah, right? Absolutely, yes. And, and I think a lot of people really love this concept these days. You know, grab some great bottles of wine, spirits, whatever you want, and everybody comes around, comes to the house, and sits and picks and talks and eats, and it's a social thing. That's exactly it, and, and we've kind of uh, uh, incorporated that into our um, 
our unique private dinner nights, and I guess we'll talk about that a little bit yes. later. Why don't we start putting a board together? Josh is going to help us out here. So we have these really cool boards, and you sell these boards too. Yes. Yeah, so people yeah. can kind of have fun. So as we're putting that together, tell me about this special night you have in the basement. Um, it's actually in the back here. Oh, was it do. in the back? Yeah, yeah. We, um, it sounds shady in the basement. It is shady in the basement. It's a secret underground restaurant. <laughs> Um, it's a private event that we host, uh, so it's been you know, a 75th birthday party to a corporate event. Um, and what we do is create that atmosphere that you were talking about. Uh, there's a, a huge charcuterie board in the middle of the table. We dress that with cheese, charcuterie, and compotes, and deliciousness. Uh, and then we have a smoker on the roof, so uh, we've smoked um, ostrich and USDA oh, Prime. come on. And that'll come out through the night, it all sliced up, ready to go with melted foie gras. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So fun. So people can buy tickets from you directly? And you can buy tickets, uh, or you can book it, uh, book it as book your own party, event. As yeah. your own event. Mm -hmm. So anything from a wedding party to, as you say, it can be whatever. Girls' night out. Girls' night out. <laughs> I love it. These guys are located right down Burling downtown Burlington. And it's all about, again, just being together, social, wine, cheese, love the whole concept, and uh, Look at this, you're, you're fast, you're putting this beautiful <laughs> board together for us. And oh, you know what, I know we have to go, but you have to quickly mention this this bag here. Oh yes, yes. this is a, a wonderful park pack. Yeah. So it carries your charcuterie board in the front, your wine bottle on the side, it's thermal, so you can hold all your meat and cheese with yeah. a little ice pack. And they can get them directly from you. Absolutely. I love it, very good. So much fun, we have lots of fun coming up here on the morning show in downtown Burlington. We'll be back. Keep working there, Josh. Yeah, keep it up. Earn your keep, buddy. <laughs>